Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Newtopia for the TurboGrafx-16 Part 1. A little more than a month ago, I posted a video and let the viewers choose my next LP from four different games, and this was the game that got the most votes. I have very fond memories playing this game back in the day when I was a kid, and it was one of the first TurboGrafx-16 games I ever owned. So with that said, let's get started. That is the main asshole in this game, and his name is Dearth. And the asshole steals our Princess Aurora. And there's our kick-ass hero named Gizetta. Oh, you must be Gizetta! Thank heavens you came! A terrible tragedy has befallen us! Late last night, the evil demon Durth came to us as we slept. Like a bolt out of the night sky, he kidnapped Princess Aurora and the eight medallions. Each medallion represents the spirit of our beloved leaders who still live inside us all. Durth was our father's arch enemy, and he used his power to cast our fathers into stone. All of our ancestors' wisdom, power, and virtue are contained within the medallions. The princess was the only one who could unleash the forces of goodness. Now she is gone. We have news that Dearth has spread the medallions in his labyrinth and has hidden. The princess in his crypt used the compass to direct you to each of the medallions. The power and wisdom of our ancestor and the love of the princess will be your reward. As an old and wise mother, I have the power of healing. Come back when you feel weak, okay, Shiny? Alright, so our mission is to find the eight medallions and kick Durf's ass. Let's go do it. The first thing we're going to do is check out what's down here. Take this valuable book of revival! The book will give you the power to return here to receive a password. Go now, and use the charmed compass to lead you on your way. The compass will help you find your way through the maze of rooms in the labyrinth. Once you leave this room, head west for the labyrinth. Take care, and use all your powers. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the Book of Revival. The old man said to head west, so let's go do that. Those are the wings of return. If we use them, they will take us back to the shrine. Now let's see what's in here. Hey, my kind and gentle old man. Who will help you prepare for your journey? When you are close to the hidden medallion, the compass will sound a signal to alert you. Go now and search out your destiny. Now let's go ahead and take the old man's treasure. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the Boom Bombs. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the Medicine of Vitality. Use the bomb to blow up hidden doors and hallways, and then the Medicine of Vitality will restore your health to full. I know the first old man said to head west to find the first labyrinth, but let's pick up a couple upgrades before we head there. Most of the time when I'm trying to get somewhere, I try to avoid fighting the enemies. And I got another pair of Wings of Return, but unfortunately you can only carry one pair at a time. On this screen here, kill the slime, move the lower right rock, and reveal a secret entrance. 
Welcome to my humble home. It's my pleasure to grant you this flame-throwing wand. This weapon will prove most valuable in your fight against the wickedness of dearth. The flame strength depends on your vitality, so burn those goons before they burn you. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the fire wand. One funny thing about this weapon is it's actually a better attack weapon than your sword is. Now let's head to another upgrade and then we'll head to the first lap. You can also use your fire wand to burn down certain trees to reveal secret doors. There are a lot of town folks and shops hidden all over the world. They will give you information and sell you things. I'm not going to talk to everyone in this LP. It's just too damn time consuming. Alright, I got a cherry. Now I'm back to full health. On this screen, see that little statue thing over to the left? Yeah, go ahead and place a bomb on it and blow it up. Oh, I am the monk of the Far East, who practices the life-giving religion of Alibaba. I am only a poor man, but I can raise your vitality by a grain. Go now and spread the good word of the Far East Monk of Key. Jizena's life force has been increased by one for his brave and valiant efforts. You should go to the depths of the labyrinth as soon as you are able. Well, now I'm more than able. Let's head to the first labyrinth. Oh, I hate these fly things. They just have such a weird pattern sometimes. Whoops, didn't mean to use a bomb. I forgot to equip my fire wand. If you haven't noticed yet, the silver coins are worth 10 gold, and the gold coins are worth 50 gold. That is an hourglass. It will freeze the enemies on a screen for a long time. And on the next screen, we will come to our very first labyrinth. Let's go inside. The reason I just love using the fire wand so much is that you can shoot it in eight different directions. You can only stab the sword in four different directions. Which way do we go? Let's go over here first. Uh-oh, the door shut on us. That means we gotta kill all the enemies before we can get past it. Oh, hell yeah, a treasure chest. I want that shit. But before we get the treasure chest, let's go ahead and kill all the enemies first. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the key to the crypt. You need the key to the crypt to fight the boss. Hmm, which way do we go now? Let's go over here. Oh hell yeah, more treasure. I want that shit. Our 
our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the crystal ball. What the crystal ball is, is basically a map of this dungeon. Now that we got the treasure, let's go ahead and kill the rest of the enemy so we can get the hell out of this room. Well, now there's only one place to go. Let's head north. Uh oh, the door's all shut on us. Let's start kicking the enemy's asses. Let's go over here first. Oh hell yeah, another treasure chest. Let's start kicking some ass. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the bronze armor. Now let's head north and find out what's up there. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, who are you? Could you be so kind to unleash me from these wretched chains? I used to take care of this dungeon, but then the wicked Darth came and chained me up. I think he might be holding one of the ancient medallions in the room to your right. You'll have to use a bomb to get through the wall. Find the medallions and set me free! Alright, let's do as he says and blow up the wall. I always hated these things. I don't know what it is about them, but I just hated them as a kid. In the next room is the first boss, but before we can enter that door, we gotta kill all these monsters first. Alright, now let's take on the first boss. The first boss is a big-ass blue dragon. He shoots four fireballs at you. He's really easy. Just use your sword and stab the hell out of him and dodge his fireballs. Oh yeah, and down goes the first boss. Let's go inside the next room and get the first medallion. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the prized medallion. After you get a medallion, you will be teleported back to the shrine. You need to find the second medallion before the door to the sphere will open. Gisetta's life force has been increased by one for his brave and valiant efforts. As an old and wise mother, I have the power of healing. Come back when you feel weak. And as you can see, we placed the medallion in the first spot. Now that I have the first medallion, what I'm going to go ahead and do is talk to the old lady and get my shitty password. Do you wish to have the password? This password system isn't as shitty as Dungeons and Dragons Order the Griffin password system was, but it is pretty shitty. Alright, now that we've wrote our password down, let's head to the next dungeon. The walk to the next dungeon is a pretty long one, but if you know where you're going, it's not too bad. That was some pretty sweet maneuvering. Once you get to this bridge, you know you're not too far away from the second labyrinth. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was close. I'm surprised I didn't get hit. The hit detection in this game is very weird. Now we have reached the second labyrinth. Let's go inside. Uh-oh, the door closed. Let's kill all the enemies. Well, killing all the enemies didn't work. Now we gotta push a block. a large supply of bombs to go on from here. When you get to the end of the room of this labyrinth, use a bomb to destroy the wall. If only you could retrieve the medallion, I'd be set free of these miserable chains. Okay, old man, whatever you say. Oh, I hate these things. Kill them. Cool, I got a magic ring. What this does is change more powerful creatures into weaker ones. Uh-oh, I'm locked in. Only one way out. Kill all the creatures. Well, the old man did say when you reach the end of the labyrinth to use a bomb, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh hell yeah, a treasure chest. I want that shit. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the key to the crypt. Now we gotta do a little backtracking. I don't know what it was. I just had to push that block. Yeah, 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 old man. We already heard it. Must kill all purple slimes. Let's see what's down south first. Oh hell yeah. Another treasure chest. I want that shit. And all you monsters must die. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the bronze sword. Ah, oh, hell yeah, now I got a better sword. Uh oh, the door shut. Must kill all these skeleton things. Ooh, my sword's pretty nice. Only takes two hits to kill these guys. Ah, oh, hell yeah, more treasure. Give me that shit. Zeta has obtained the crystal ball. Uh, locked in once again. Gotta kill all the monsters. Oh yeah, an hourglass. Let's kill them all. This may look like a dead-end room, but you actually bombed the west wall. And in the next room above us is the second boss. But first we gotta kill all these guys. The 
and watch out for the brown colored blocks. They tend to be the ones that have booby traps in them. Now we will fight the second boss, some sort of robot. He is very easy. Stand directly below him, he will explode, and you will not take damage. Now just attack the red round ball and destroy him. Oh yeah, the second boss goes down. Now let's go get our medallion. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the prized medallion. This is the passage to the subterranean sphere. Watch for evils that lurk. Gisetta's life force has been increased by one for his brave and valiant efforts. As an old and wise mother, I have the power of healing. Come back when you feel weak. And as you can see, a new passageway has opened. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of it for now. Now let's go back to the shrine and get our shitty password. Do you wish to have the password? Yes, I do, Grandma. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamer's Let's Play Newtopia for the TurboGrafx-16 Part 1. I want to thank you again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 2.